uh, uh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, where, do you, where do you want to start, Sork? Seth Rollins really made a dick of himself, didn't he? Oh. <laughs> Seth you, Rollins no, he exposed. The, no, you know what? He was the true wiener. That who? Ah, uh, <laughs> who has who has a story on Seth Rollins here? Man, he really cocked up. What? Okay, that's enough. That, that's yeah, enough. That's, 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 wow. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, go ahead. I got one. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, this is the part where uh, DJ Lunchbox throws himself <laughs> into the river. I, I'm sure he's um, not going right, to listen so, anyway. So. so Basically, uh, from what we've been able to gather, <laughs> the story, um, right before Raw, uh, a picture got tweeted from Seth Rollins' account Ooh, it's a lady. of a, <laughs> of a mm-hmm. developmental diva. Um, well, let's just say in all of her glory, and oh my, what glory it was. Mm-hmm. Um, and then immediately after that, Seth Rollins is is it fiance? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fiance tweeted a couple of, um, well, let's just say she told us who the new member of the Shield was, <laughs> and, and she showed a couple pictures of Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were qu- the, everything was quickly deleted, but of course uh, not because the internet and. You could just tell, like, when Seth Rollins came out for his match, that he was like, oh, God, what did I do? Oh, no. <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the headline from Deadspin is, let's go look at Seth Rollins' dong. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, boy. We are um, five years old, everybody. Uh, thought, there you I go. Thought the Undertaker was, I thought The Undertaker was coming back because we had a couple dongs. Oh, <laughs> so, 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 what happens when you're not here? So we're saying, oh. we're saying, um, his the initial thing was was that his Twitter got hacked. Wait, what was the initial his Twitter uh, or Instagram original... or something got hacked? Yeah, something, his, his, the original Twitter. one was his Instagram got hacked. Oh, his Instagram. Hmm. And then it, it the the information came out that it was his fiance that kind of blew it. That kind of did it. So, so they're saying, and they're saying that the, uh, according to this article uh, over on uh, New York Daily News of all places, uh, saying that the, the, the pictures of uh, the model uh, uh, Zara Schreiber uh, oh, yeah, appeared on at least three of his social media accounts, um, and they were not blurred, guys. In fact, like uh, I was yeah, they were to, definitely not blurred. I came mm-hmm. in late last we night. Be showing this sword. I, well, it's blurred. It's blurred. This one is blurred. I we're okay. Um, okay. But 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 the, the first thing I was greeted to was this picture not blurred in the middle of my Google Plus feed when I sat down about ten o'clock last night for the third hour of Raw. Um, I had it right in the Twitter feed. Kabow. Um But uh, we, we had Jen Carlin sending us. So the is this a? Here. I mean, so so we're what, like the, this is an accidental post. Was this a hacking? Like what? No. Are we oh, clear? It wasn't accidental on the wife's part. No, the it was not. Part. The it, wife it was, was retaliatory, purposely. of course. Um, yeah. Eamon's asking in the chat room if anyone feels like this could affect his push or no, his... no, no, I don't think so. Ooh, I, I, don't, I, I just don't know. Not, it was not his fault that the the photos got leaked. No, and unfortunately, the only, the, and only unfortunately... Way, the only way that it would be effective is if somewhere down the because John Cena cheated once, and he's still John Cena. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, but there was no, like, tangible evidence that was proven. It wasn't like you got a picture of John Cena in the back of a golf cart with Nikki Bell's legs in the air, you know? Like, nothing like that happened. Mm-hmm. That's just on Total Divas. And that's yeah. the thing. And, and, and we know, like, at least, like, newer stars are signing uh, uh, decency clauses, that there are not nudes of them on, on the Internet, stuff like that. Um, does Seth Rollins have something like that? You know, is there something that he is going to be penalized for this coming out? And then what, what's the scope of that? Is it because it's his fault? I mean, obviously, he maybe didn't post it or whatnot, but, you know, stuff happens. You know, and, and it'll be interesting to see how this is going to this is an HR nightmare for one thing. Um, mm. But <laughs> I he apologized. Eamon's saying that the Twitter and Instagram at one point appeared on WWE.com's social feed. Oh, oh. 
wow, wow. That will be handled, and that is a conversation they're going to have. This is a teaching moment for us, guys, uh, for social media. First of all, uh, realize if you're doing pictures like this and stuff, uh, you Snapchat. Baby, I'm Sorgatron on there. Um, wait, wait, that didn't connect. Send right, actually, Sorgatron. You know, yeah, send Sorgatron your pictures. Do, don't, don't. <laughs> no. A equals equals D. Oh jeez. If I see that light up once Snapchat uh, in the next ten minutes, I'm going to delete it from my phone. Just the whole app. <laughs> yeah. We're done with that experiment. Yes, um, yes. But no, and, and this can happen to a lot of people, and this does unfortunately happen to a lot of people. Um, uh, but otherwise, Seth Rollins, man, you shouldn't have been you shouldn't have been uh, working on that side piece, man. Uh, that, that's the other part. So his wife, fiance, 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 fiance. Okay. I'm sure I'm getting all the parts. There's a lot of moving parts here, and I just haven't had time to settle down and figure it out. Um, but uh, it's fiance, not there, there was a there was a moving part. So. I don't think. Yeah, I I I, I think there will be discussion about how they handle things like this in the future. Um, I don't think initially, I, I, Mike, you. Son of a! <laughs> I do not want to open that. It's just an emoji penis sword. I don't know. Still, it's all it's, it's, that's, that's all right. At least it's... I don't have Google Glass anymore. Um, <laughs> um, but no, I mean this is going to happen. I mean, it, 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 we used to have rants on here all the time about uh, stupid people, our wrestlers doing stupid things on the internet. Uh, 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 close to you know, uh, uh, kind of related to this, there was some stuff going on. Uh, this just came up. Uh, I saw a little bit before we went to air here. It was actually posted at uh, 813 over at nodq.com. Darren Young is posting a bunch of tweets as well, saying stuff like, I feel like no one has my back. It upsets me. The struggle is real. I'm human. Uh, my freedom of speech is gone, gone but not forgotten. Uh, you know, it, it's. And this was, uh, and this was after apparently deleting a tweet uh, uh, criticizing WWE's tour of Abu Dhabi where homosexuality <laughs> is a crime. And posting another tweet saying that his freedom of speech is gone. Um, it, it, so, I mean, this is... Hey, you guys gave... WWE, you guys um, 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 gave the tools to them. You, you mandated this, uh, more or less, saying, Hey, you guys, mm -hmm. we want you people, you, you to interact with the fans. We want you guys to extend things on social media. Um, and I'm sure there were lessons about how you do... I hope there were lessons about how you do that, what... Say, what you do and don't say i mean somebody like a darren young maybe he's drinking at a bar and this is coming out right uh um, well, matt hardy uh, was the first person that had issues with that with right the feet, right right and issues i mean not like he was worked for a company that that really you know would have fired him or anything at that point uh, over it you know anybody like tna or is just happy to have him in general because he's a name right and he's coming to them mm -hmm. um but uh, you know this this is going to happen you enable these guys with these tools and you can't get i mean you can but you can't get that upset when they they use their freedom of speech like this you know or the weird weird crap that ryback does with his twitter twitter account <laughs> Well, know. Ryback's yeah. awesome with his Ryback's Twitter. Ryback's awesome. Okay. He, deletes, he deletes his tweets right afterwards. Ryback like Snapchat is my Twitter. favorite meathead in pro wrestling right now. I got to say that. And he's a better <laughs> worker than Goldberg. Said it. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it it'll be interesting to see what's going on there. Um, I, it, it's interesting. Between that and then, of course, uh, China popped up on uh, Vince Russo's uh, podcast course, today, which I think yeah. I, I put the preview over in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group on Facebook, and I thought the most – uh, interesting thing that popped out is there. China is teaching English in Japan. What? Oh, God. Those poor Japanese people. Well, I mean, the, the conversation, again, I haven't watched the entire thing. I don't subscribe to Pyro and Bally, who's VIP service. They should uh, sponsor, give us a sponsorship uh, kickback for that, by the way. Um, I, should, I should call a guy. Uh, but anyways... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, you know, saying that the things that they're saying are the reason she can't get mainstream work in this country, and why she has to go to Japan and do something like that, um, which is really really interesting. Um, so, uh, what but, kind of mainstream work is China trying to get? I I remember seeing her on Third Rock from the Sun. She wasn't exactly very good. No, no, there's that too. But, I've seen her in another a few other things. She was not good either. <laughs> but uh, she was green, Riz. She was green. She was oh, green. She was oh. very Bobby. Bobby, no, but points. He's not, oh. he's not wrong. Anyways, wrong let us know what you think. You think Seth Rollins going to get punished? Oh, I got my own do joke. She's green. Is this going to do anything going oh into WrestleMania? I didn't mean that. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right. All right, guys, 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 guys. All right, in the meantime, let's give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. 
uh, they're supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with good pizza right here um, in, 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 in right, right, right here, right up the road. They're over uh, on Broadway Avenue here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh and the Beachview area. And that's Seth Rollins exposed. Let's get rid of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was, we always like sh- we always shoehorn uh, sites on Broadway in, in, in between the most interesting of topics on this show, apparently. Uh, oh, but they're there, they're down at Carnegie Main Street. We Carnegie. Go Carnegie. We always get. Oh, 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 we go Main Street, Carnegie, PA. Uh, go check them out if you're in the area. Uh, great stuff from scratch, uh, made with love, man. No, they're obsessed with abnormally obsessed with good pizza. Is their tagline. Uh, they get they get all, everything made from scratch. This isn't a frozen shell that they're putting in there, like like a Pizza Hut or something like that. Um, sandwiches, all that kind of stuff. Um, go check them out and tell them. Even just hit them up on their Facebook uh, for Slice on Broadway or PGH underscore Slice on Twitter and let them know Wrestling Mayhem Show sent you. Do it right now. Are you listening live? Are you listening later? Go to our Twitter your Twitter piece and uh, hit up at PGH underscore Slice. Be like, hey man, just heard about you on the Mayhem Show. Yum. Do that right now if you got the opportunity. If, if I, Sorg, if I do that, will they send me pizza?